Hello, hello. This is Pat with Petresca Papers. I am back with you today with a tutorial for a new digital kit in the Home Sweet Homes series. And these, this is going to be a tall, thin journal. And the theme is really not a house, but it can be a double decker house, triple decker house, or I'm concentrating on shops. Um, my friend Gladys reached out to me and said, are you doing a Valentine house? And that got me thinking that I would like to do some shops that you would shop at for Valentine treats for the, the ones you love. So I'm going to walk through what's in the kit. It will be available on my Petresca Papers Etsy shop, and that will be linked down below. And what was I going to say? Anyway, thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are coming back after I haven't been doing anything for a bit, welcome back. If you like what the, the content I give you, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll be reminded when I make a new video. All right, so in the digital kit, and it's pretty much like my others, if you've bought any of my other Home Sweet Home digital kits, this one has four shops. I'm going to say this is a floral shop, bakery, a chocolatier, and ice cream. Got some shutters and windows and some flower boxes and a door, should you want to make this more like a house. Also, any of the other kits that I have, like Bluebird Bungalow, and well any of them the doors and windows would work in this kit also here are roofs and i'm giving you some different style roofs i'm really not sure what this style is it's more where that front of the roof slopes down this is a mansard and then just the regular peak roof and then a few um, digital laces that you can use for dividers. Let's see, we'll talk about these last. I've got two color schemes for you. I've got a gray and pink and right, and oh, there's a pink and then I have the red. A red and a very um, taupey color with it. Okay, these are set for you to work with the roofs. Where do the roofs go now? They keep hiding from me. Where are you? Put you aside. That's why I can't find you. They will work with the roof, with those roofs like this, where you can decide how tall you want them. Then there's also the pink roofs that will go. All right, let's see. What else do I need to show you? And then I do have two for each color, different signature pages. So there's one that's the softer taupe and the darker. And then there's a gray with a gray line. This is my signature I have kind of ready for what we create. All right, so I am going to do this as a, as a, I'm not gonna give it much of a spine. In fact, I'm just gonna use the fold. 
and I do want to cut off my white. In fact, what was I thinking I would do? I'm thinking I may try turning them under. So I am not going to cut my white off, but I am going to score right down the middle of this. Now, I'm keeping it white on this side because this is where I'm going to adhere my other papers. All right. Well, let's go with that six because then that gives me this at the bottom. So, all right. And this folds in. This is the inside. And I'm not going to score that until I see where my papers fall. And if they don't, if there's not enough to fold in, then I will just trim them off. All right. So this is my front. And this is my back. I am using, because we're doing the gray first, I'm going to use a gray distress ink. And part of why I want to use this is it will let me know very obviously where my fold is so I don't go over it. The distress ink I'm using for the gray is called Hickory Smoke by Ranger. All right, and let's see. I think, let's see, should have decided this ahead of time. I have, and if you watched my videos, you saw me do this little matchbook ephemera holder. I did go ahead and put a few pieces of ephemera on it, and it's perfect. I sat this morning and cut out a bunch of my pieces for this kit, so I'm all ready to go. Now, first we want roofs, so let's pull this one out, that one, and this gray, and decide. Oh, just a word on this, if you missed this video, I will link it below. It's a simple, simple video, and I used old book pages, and when I say old, I don't mean old, I mean not wanted necessarily. All right, so let's see, what do we like? I think the shop that I'm going to use, that could influence me. I think I'm gonna use this one. What do you think? I think I'll do that along with that. Some soft, soft colors. All right. I am going to use my trimmer just so that I get a nice cut. All right. Down there. And I will take off. white edges. One thing I'm noticing, this one did get printed on cardstock. Most everything except for what's going to be the booklet I do on copy weight. Generally, somehow I didn't have the right paper loaded, but we're going to use this. I think it will work. It will just be a bit stronger. All right, so you're going to go on there like that and then I can turn that under but I think I'll leave a little bit there and I think to stress a bit more down here I am for quickness I'm going to use my tape runner instead of moist glue or 
glue stick. Now, the way I'm assembling this is not any different than what I've done in the past. So if you've watched that, you're probably good to just fast forward to see what I get to at the end. Okay, let's do this. Trying to get as close to the edge as I can. I'm not sure that this is what I recommend that you do, but for my video, it makes it very nice and quick. Okay, I'm going to go right there. I think I'll leave a little white at the bottom. Okay. And then this roof, this mansard roof, it's going to overlap just a wee bit. All right, and I'm gonna do a little distressing. I do some distressing digitally, but once you cut it, you're gonna have, you will usually have a bit of white edge. Okay. I'm going to leave a little white up there, lining them up, and I'm not straight. Oh, well, and down here I can see this is going to stick up a little, so we will use a little liquid glue there and on that corner there, and probably some other places as we go forward. Okay. I am going to, nope, I'm not going to trim that. I do think that I am going to, I will score. And let's see how this is going to work. Get over there. Hope everyone has been well and happy with a new year. I am finding I am very, very lazy with a capital L. <laughs> All right. And then let's use that to guide where I want that score to be on the back. So it'll be even. It will have a little bit of a white edge. That's not a bad thing. So let's go ahead. Looks like liquid glue is going to win this battle here. Right down here. Where's my bone folder? Where are you? I remember I moved you over here. Be in the camera. All right, and then just a little on this side. You know, when you print, all printers print a little different. I find mine has quite the mind of its own. There are times where I'll have a larger white area than I would normally. And all right. So here's our inside, there's our outside. This is where we're going to put our cute little shop front. And I think, let's do that now. And I'll just use this moist, this wet glue. This is my favorite glue. This is art glitter glue. There. All right, I've got my roof on, and I'm going to look at windows now. Cut out my windows. I have some shutters. 
I have these, and of course I do think I want to use these since they go so nicely with the shop like that. And let's use these windows. And I'm going to do, I think, the, th the three of them. So this will go there. And this will go here. All right. And as I was looking at shop fronts that are <clears throat> on kind of in a brownstone effect, where there's several layers, it does seem that there are different things that break up the area. And so I have these, it's like a piece of molding, and I think, do I want to do that? I did also cut out the trim. You could use trim that you have. I think I'm going to use this. There's a little more contrast there. And it looks like that I distressed that with brown. And since this is our gray one, I think that I'll use that. And I'll use that up there. All right. So let's do a little distress on that edge. We'll work from the bottom up. You know, it feels it feels nice to be doing the little houses again. I know that I kind of slacked off there. Let's see. I wonder if do that. I am going to cut you right straight so that I can fit that right on, just like that. All right, use the ATG or tape runner, and let's give it right there. And let's get our windows on. I did not distress them, and I think I will, just so that they stand out a little more. It's not essential, but it just seems to add just that bit of definition from the background. little more on these awnings. I do have some flower boxes in the kit. I don't think I'm going to use, I will use them today. We'll have to see. That will be the last thing we look at here. Let's see. I think that will work. We'll go right like that. And like that. I think my husband's not very happy with me. He wanted to go to a train show today. It's an hour away and I'm just like, oh, I've got things I want to do. Things I need to do. I don't want to go. So I think he's kind of not happy with me. If I get my work done... We could go later. Isn't that cute? I love the stripe on this. Right there. All right. And our last little window for the top, which will not have an awning unless I print another sheet, but I think I won't. I'm going to put this up a little because I'm going to put this divider here. So, 
So, let's put this right there. And I think you can get trimmed off just a titch. Let's see. Where do we want you? Right to there. All right. Just like that. No chimney. It could, especially if you're doing it as a house. All right, right, like that. Cute. All right, let me gather these up and put them back in the my little ephemera holder. All right, down in this pocket here. And I'm not going to use that, so you can go back in there. And here's my shops that fit just nicely down in there. All right. Well, let's look at these. Do we want... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In fact, that's not the one I ended up using. This is the one. Okay, let's put those on. And I did give you three so that this window up there can have one also. Oh, cute. But I, when I do my fussy cutting, I end up with little white edges. And so this is a nice trick to kind of hide those white edges. All right. Now, does this need to just be used for Valentine's? Oh, of course not. There's nothing that screams, you know, I love you or be mine um, with this. Cute. Okay, let's get these glued on. But what you put inside is what will be the the memories. This could be used to gather Valentines. You could make a collection of vintage Valentines. You know, the the um, options are endless. All right, just like that. This one at the top. Oh, I didn't notice. The little pink flowers in the flower boxes down there. And is this to scale? <laughs> no. <clears throat> Could you walk in that door? No. Oh, cute. All right. Now, what? This is going to be my signature that will fit in here. So it really is. This is the full... 11 inches and so I will be doing some trimming on here but I will sew this in my the regular way I think I may try to use something like this I have some satiny stuff so that it'll have a bow out to the side and oh I forgot going to trim this. Oh, I know why I didn't. I'm going to put, let's see, I'm going to put, what am I going to put on the back? I'm going to put some of this pink on the back. So, I am going to use my tape runner and I'm putting it onto the booklet itself because I know I want to pretty much cover the whole thing. I probably should cut that edge though. I think I will do that. Let's do let's do that. Okay, now that I've got all this on here. Trim off 
I just lost. I just lost it. Silly thing. The little blade comes off. All right. Let's just put this one on. Okay. And I think I will, this one has a very thin white, so I think that I will just cut right down here, and let's just see how it goes. Uh, is there a right or a wrong? Sometimes I can, so I'm just going to go right there. That just trim this off down here. And do some distressing. Grunge it up a little, you know how we all seem to love that grungy. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I sure do. Okay, let's do that edge too. And now I am going to trim here for my roof. I do think I will trim along there and I'll even that out just a tad. And this will go here and across right there. So when we have the signature in, you will see it poke out a bit up there. But these will not be. I'm going to go ahead and I'll be trimming those off and I'll finish that up off the camera. It will probably be in the thumb the thumbnail of the video that you can see how it looks when it has its signature in there. All right, well that's it for today. Um, this again will be available in my Etsy shop. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I love your comments, so please comment below. Hey, take care. Bye-bye. I am back with the sweet shop, the home sweet homes, sweetheart shops, and I have added in my signature with different various pages. I folded them. I'll do some trimming or some gluing, making some tuck spots. I'll add some ephemera. I used this torn up piece of curtain that I had, and it's pretty thin. I don't think it would go through with a needle, so I used quite a large hole and took it through. I'm putting some pockets on the back, but isn't that fun? All right, thank you. Bye bye.